It's finally see you guys again today. It's really nice to have you back on the day that we are going to learn together, right? So hopefully I'm gonna find you guys today. Okay, sorry. This is not okay. Give me one second. I find you guys today in a good condition, okay? Healthy, happy, and already have your dinner also, okay? Wait, let me get a share different one. That's the grammars for this chapter. Well, let's start the learning today with the role play guys so today we're still gonna do the chapter nine okay chapter nine the conversation about the uh, making weekend plans between the three pals okay let's check it out yeah please all right guys so Let's, I'm going to need some volunteers. Let's do the role play, guys. Okay, cool. Now let's, let me see. Okay, give me one second. I have Brandon. You are doing Lori's number one, two, three. And then I'll have Windy doing Christie's, Christie's dialect number one, two, three. Master Amin, you are taking care of Sarah's one, two, three. Okay, Misuchi, you are taking care of Lori's four, five, six. Stories. Okay, and then I'll have Sarah's number four, five, six for Miss Lily. Christie's number four, five, six for Nani. And I'll have, okay, let's check it out. Lori's number seven eight nine. Lori seven eight nine for Miss Fanny. Sarah seven eight nine for Miss Fu. Okay. Let me see. So have... One, two, three, four, eight. Okay, I need three more volunteers. That way we can all start at the same time. So I don't have to cut off your uh, conversation. Three more will be awesome, guys. Okay, we'll wait a little bit while uh, the others are trying to connecting and getting ready, okay? Three more. I have three more dialogues. Needs to be assigned to three volunteer. Okay, let's check it out. Three more. Okay, well. Okay, guys, just give a little bit of time to our friends to try to get it ready, okay? Second. Okay, so, well, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm going to unmute you guys, so let's just start then because it's, 
I give one minute and okay, it's been a minute. Okay, so allow me to unmute you guys. Where we just start and towards the end, I'm gonna see if there is um more of our friends trying to evening, Miss. Good evening, uh, Miss Lily. How are you doing? Fine, thank you, Miss. Okay. How about you? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss Fu. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Mr. Amin and class. Okay. Miss Fe Miss Fanny, number berapa, Miss? Penny, Miss Penny, uh, you are taking care of Loris number seven, eight, nine. Miss Nani, Miss. Okay. Nani, 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 you are doing uh, Christine number four, five, six. Okay. Anybody else, Miss Dears? Suci, Miss. Uh, who's that speaking? Suci. Oh, Miss Suchi, Miss Suchi, you are taking care of Loris number four, five, six. Thank Got you. it? And yeah. Miss Fu? Miss Fu, uh, Sarah, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, excellent. The rest are good. Okay, we still uh, have three dialogues. So we are... Uh, we're still waiting for three more okay volunteers meanwhile let's just start okay okay miss all oh, right yeah. I don't know. do you want to get together or something i'm not going to see a movie for the next 22 on cartoon boy fat in sewing a that sounds like a good idea maybe we should go out to eat beforehand it's fine with me. Where do you want to meet? Let's meet at Summer Pizza House. I have not gone there for a long time. Good idea again. <clears throat> I heard you just came up with a new pizza. It should be uh, it should be good because Summer Pizza House always has the best pizza in town. When should we meet? Well, the movie is shown at 2 p.m. 4, 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. Why don't we go to the 2 p.m. show? We can meet at Summer Pizza House at noon. That will give us plenty of time to enjoy our pizza. My cousin Karen is in town. Can I bring her alone? I hate to leave her home alone. Karen is in town. Yes, bring her along. Lauren, you remember Karen? We met her at Sarah's <laughs> high school graduation party two years ago. I do not quite remember her. What does she look like? Blonde hair. She is kind of Slender, and she is about your height. She wear eyeglasses, right? Yes, and she was playing the piano and on during the party. I remember her now. Yes, to bring her along, Sarah. She is such a nice person and funny too. Sarah number seven, Miss Fu still. She will be happy to meet both of you then. What is, the, what is she doing these days? She graduated last June and she will start her teaching career next week with when the new school term begins. What grade is the what grade is she going to teach? She will teach kindergarten 
she loves working with kids and she always has such a good rapport with them. In kindergarten, she must be a very patient person. I always think kindergarten is the most difficult class to fix. Most of the kids have never been to school and they have never been away from mommy for long. Let's see if we have. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, I have Nalita, you are doing Sarah number 10, 11, 12, 13. And then Jennifer, you are going uh, to do Christy 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I have one more spot, guys. Loris number 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, let's see. So I'm going to have assigned this to, let me see. Okay. Brandon, okay. Brandon, you are taking care of Loris 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, miss. Okay, give me one second. Let me unmute Nalita and Jennifer. Good evening, miss. Good evening, Sorry, Nalita. Nalita. Good evening, miss. Good evening, Jane. All right, give me one second. Let me pull this. Sarah, number 10. All right, guys, whenever you're ready. Start from Sarah, miss. Yes, please. Okay. I think Karen will do fine. She knows how to handle young children. Uh, Jane. Um, I'm I'm sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten, miss. Christy, yes. Oh, I see. No, Loris, Loris, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, uh, Brandon. Um, it's T9, Miss. Lori, nine, Miss. Uh -huh. Loris. Oh, still nine. So it's yes, going to be Miss Fania. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Take, it, take care of that, Jane. Mm. Loris. I think Fanny. the first few weeks will, will be tough. However, once the routine is set, it should not be too difficult to teach kindergarten. All right, you, go ahead. Okay, Miss, you are right. The kids might even look forward to going to school since they have so many friends to play with. There are so many new things for them to do at school too. They do a lot of crafts in kindergarten. I'm always amazed by the things kindergarten teachers do. Okay, uh, Brandon. Oh, okay, Brandon. Um, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have been seeing my niece came, come home with so many neat stuff. Maybe we can ask Karen to show us some, some of the things that we can, we can do for this Halloween. Maybe we can stop by the craft store after the movie. What do you think, Sarah? I will talk to her. I think she will like that. It will help her with school projects when Halloween comes. Michael's is a good store for crabs. Crabs. It always carries a, a variety of things, and you can find almost anything there. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. There is a Michael store. Not. Wait. There is a Michael store not far away from Cinemax Twenty Six. I believe it is just around the corner. On Pioneer Avenue, we can even talk, uh, even walk over there. So we plan to meet for pizza at noon, go to the movies at two, and shop at Michael's mm -hmm. afterwards, right? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Um, okay. Give me one second. Let's have a little discussion about this, okay? We'll pull it out. Okay, check this out, guys. Check it out. Pay attention, okay? Try to, um, well, this is the human nature, okay? The human nature is like this, okay? Uh, but you're going to tell yourself, okay? Try to tell yourself when um, you have a, you, you guys get a correction, Tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna take that correction right away. So that way, uh, you guys will able to avoid doing the same mistakes, okay? But I know that's the human nature like that, okay? They'll the uh, first mistakes and then uh, being told, and then the second one, uh, they're still making that mistakes, but you're gonna try to uh, tell yourself to, okay, if I make a mistakes and then uh, I find out the right one, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take that uh, correction as my new, uh, my new thing like that, uh, my, my new pronunciation in this case, okay? So that way uh, you guys can, uh, your uh, subconscious mind is gonna take it right away. Okay, give me one second. Check this out, guys. We have the uh, Christy. I can understand that because, you know, once in a while, my kids like that, okay? You know, I told them, okay, here we go. Okay, uh, they're supposed to be like this. This is done like this. I show them the proof, look. And then and they're still making the same mistakes again. It's like their sub, the nature of the sub, my human subconscious is doing like that, okay? So unless you try to tell that subconscious, hey, hello, I need you to do this right thing, okay? Once I get that, uh, the right thing, the right information, okay? Check this out. We have a uh, Christy number four. Christie's dialect number four. Okay, guys. So we met her at Sarah's high school graduation party two years ago. Okay. So the word is met. The word is met here that uh, you guys meet, uh, one of our friends miss. Okay. Uh, met is the past tense of meet. Yes, yeah, I understand you guys know the, the word meet, that's the uh, present tense. But since here in, we the sentence used the word two years ago, okay, since it's used two years ago, then it's gonna, the, the, the past tense, uh, present tense is gonna change to past tense, okay, which is the meet is gonna change to met, okay. Also, um, when meet, you're gonna, uh, when you pronounce as meet, okay, you're gonna, the writing is not like this, okay, spelling as M E E T double E, okay, so pay attention, huh? okay, met, and then, okay, the other word here also on the uh, sentence here, we met her at Sarah's high school graduation, graduation party two years ago, okay, instead of two, I heard like years, okay, years, so E and A here is gonna, uh, in Indonesian, we get, turns into E, yeah, E bahasa Indonesia, yeah, two years, how old is she, she's, she's two years old, she, she's 10 years old, instead of uh, years, years uh, i cannot um okay but it's it's called two years ago okay please remember that then check it out we have 
Sarah's number, or uh, Lori's number six. Nah, look at these guys. Okay, look. She wears eyeglasses, right? Uh, okay, look at the word wears. Okay, wears and years. Those are rhyme. The words are rhymes. Okay, let me highlight this. And then we have this. Yeah, hold on. Okay, let me see where is the highlight here. Okay, check this years and then I have years and wears. Okay, now these two words in uh, in English we we uh, we have like a uh, words that rhymes. Okay, itu uh, rhymes itu maksudnya begini kata-kata uh, yang uh, bunyinya itu mirip. Okay, so like uh, years wears. Okay, so there there's some part of the words that sounds the same. Okay, like okay another word that rhymes. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Uh, I cannot think of the rhymes, but there are a lot of the rhymes words in English. Okay, like um. Uh, years and wears okay those are rhymes okay so just the first alphabet is different but the the the, the last four alphabets are the same those two rhymes okay wears years see wears years okay like that next Sarah number eight. Sarah number eight. Now, ah, okay, here. Career. And she will start her teaching career. Career. Kalau bahasa Indonesia, karir ya. So in English, we have career. Her teaching career, career. Okay, so the er like that inside uh, sounds on the throat like that. Okay, next, I have number seven, Christy. Christy number seven. Okay, there you go. The kids, okay, this is kids, huh? Maybe uh, you're too fast reading it. Oh, I can't remember who, who was reading that, okay? So missed it, okay? The kids might even look forward to going to school since they have so many friends to play with. Okay, so that's the kids. Okay, here the one. Important, guys, okay? Please take a note in your subconscious. Mine, okay, Christy number eight. Maybe we can ask Karen to show us some of the things that we can do for this Halloween. Okay, Halloween, no Halloween, it's Halloween. Okay, Halloween, happy Halloween. Okay, there is no Halloween because also here, if it's hello, so uh, it might be H E, okay, instead of H A, okay. It's gonna spell like that. Next, I have Christy number nine. All right, it always carries a variety of things. A variety, variety, okay. As carry a lot, a variety. The T is a um, uh, so, okay, a variety, okay, so the, a variety of things, variety, okay, next I have Loris number 12, okay, check this, 
I believe it is just around the corner on Pioneer, Pioneer Avenue, okay? Pioneer, okay? Pioneer, we have, uh, there's a brand of electronic like that, okay? All right, that's it, okay? Pretty good, but uh, some of the words is still like repeating from previous week, okay? So need you guys to pay attention, okay? Halloween, 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 Halloween. Pioneer, Pioneer, okay? Okay, where's years? Where's years? Okay, it's okay. Uh, where's years? Where's years? Oh, okay. Actually, uh, let me see. Where's and years? Uh, they're not uh, they don't rhyme. Actually, sorry about that. Let me see. Where's it's uh, it's written the same. Okay, let me, let me write it. Because in English, some word that is like written the same, most of, uh, sometimes they don't pronounce the same. Okay, now check this out. Years. So the I Indonesian we're gonna uh, pronounce as years like that, right? While this is wears, wears. Ten years old, she wears new shoes. Uh, okay. Like that, okay? So sorry, uh, they don't rhyme, okay? Even though the last four, the last four alphabet are the same. Rhymes when it sounds this, uh, uh, the, the words, even though it's uh, not the same, the same uh, spelling, but it's uh, written the same, okay? Uh, I mean, pronounced the same, okay? Give me one second, I'm gonna show you uh, what's rhymes here, okay? Just so it's a little bit knowledge for you guys, okay? Just give me one second, okay? Rhymes. Okay. Just one moment. Okay. Okay, just... Okay, check this out. I have the words that runs. Okay, this is just additional for you guys, okay? Because I believe um, it's not being taught at school, okay? Because I didn't learn this at school either, okay? Learn it once, I, uh, um, once my kids went to school and I learned it from them together also okay so look at this so you have we have the words task ask okay listen to the pronunciation i i say okay task ask okay listen to the they sounds the same okay now another one is like this above above glove it sounds there, there's some part of the words that sounds the same. Above, glove, love, okay? Those are rhymes, okay? Now, another one is H, stage, okay? H, stage, okay? I hope you guys can listen, uh, you can uh, see the difference there, okay? Now, another one is like this. Cross, toss, cross, Toss, okay. That's what rhymes is, okay. Jadi ada bunyi di antara uh, di antara uh, di dalam kat, di dua kata itu yang uh, yang mirip begitu ya. Nah kalau di sini years and wears itu meskipun uh, tertulisnya sama tapi uh, bunyinya beda ya. Years 
where so they don't rhyme okay task ask okay that's rhyme and then we have like um one second let me write it so you guys can uh like this cross loss okay that those rhymes okay cross loss okay when, when you guys say it pronounce it you can hear the the, the same H stage okay those are rhymes okay now I have scout scout and sprout okay same huh but remember not all okay look at this 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 uh these words some of the part written the same but they they and sounds the same spell the same written the same and sounds the same that's why the, that's what the uh, qualification of rhymes okay like task okay ask is the same right and cross oss the same h g a g e is the same scout and sprout is o u t o u t okay o u t is the same okay Meanwhile, here, years and years, okay, they don't rhyme because even though it's spelling the same, but pronounced just different, okay? Okay, hopefully, uh, I can give you a little bit of uh, explanation on that, and I hope you guys understand, okay? And then let's continue with our discussion about the, uh, the conversation here. Okay, number four here, guys. Discussion. So, what is your usual plan for the weekend? Okay, let's see. Okay, what's your use? What is your usual plan for the weekend? Okay, let's have Miss Suchi try to answer that. Let's listen to what is her opinion about this. Because this is the discussion, everybody has gonna have a different opinion about this. Okay, would you like to try that, Miss Uchi? Yes, Miss. Sure, go ahead. Number eight. Read first, and then I read the question and try to translate first before you answer it. Okay. Okay. What is your usual plan for the weekend? And translate. Apa yang biasa kamu rencanakan untuk akhir pekan? Okay, pretty good. Okay. Your answer is... Mm. Apa ini masih uh, masih di chapter uh, di chapter five ya Miss? No, uh, it's just discussion. So, uh, jadi ini uh, tergantung setiap orang jawabannya akan berbeda-beda ya. Uh, it's not related to the, um, the conversation, oke? Okay? Oh. Jadi tidak ada. Uh, jadi, oke. Okay, yes. uh, this is my opinion. Yes, go ahead. Oke, okay. uh, I usual I usually uh, go to church, then then after that we we go to the restaurant mm -hmm. uh, for the lunch. Oh God! Yeah. Okay, so that's go to restaurant to have lunch. Okay. So I usually go to church and go to restaurant to have lunch and then go to restaurant after work. So after work, okay. So that's a uh, weekend. Okay, now weekend usually, okay. So this is what is gonna, uh, give me a second. Go to restaurant after work to have 
our lunch because you don't just go there by yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So I usually go to church and then go to restaurant afterward to have our, uh, our lunch, okay? So um, so that's what uh, uh, Miss Suchi is uh, planned for the weekend, okay? So, uh, okay, thank you very much, Miss Suchi. Okay, yeah. let's hear from uh, our other uh, classmate here. How about from uh, Nani? Let's listen, listen from Nani. I I usually uh, let's read the question first, please. Number A, Miss. Yes, still number A. What is your usual plan for the weekend? Mm -hmm. I usually um, jogging. Okay. Okay, jogging is like um I usually go jogging, okay? If you use the ing, oh, okay, sorry, there's this typo there. If you use ing, okay, then you're gonna have to add another verb there, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna just use, I usually jog like that. Okay. Okay, that's it. Um, yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Nani. Okay. Ash, I usually go jogging. Okay. Well, what is your usual plan for the weekend? Okay. My usual plan for the weekend are I try to have a little bit longer of sleep and then cleaning out cleaning out the house that's what i do on the weekend okay well weekend that's the most important okay beside that uh i join my uh what do you call huh? i i also join my uh spiritual class okay Yes, just like uh, Miss uh, she goes to a uh, church, okay? So let's see here. I... Give myself longer sleep. So I sleep longer, longer during weekend because there is no other job in the morning. Okay, I give myself a longer sleep. Cleaning the house. And join my spiritual class. Okay, that's what's important. I got to do it every weekend for that. Okay. All right. So everybody has a different habits, right, guys? Okay. Let's go to the next one. What do you want to be after you finish school? All right. Let's hear from Windy. Okay, Miss. Uh, the well, Wendy, is... okay, before we start with the question, did you finish your school yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, okay, I... cool. It's perfect. So what do you want to be? Uh, what do you want to be after finish your finish school? Uh, I want to get my dream job, maybe. Okay, don't maybe. Okay, that's uh, what your plan is, okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Hold on. So I want to get my dream job. Dream job. Very good. That's a plan. Okay. When you make a plan, don't use the word maybe. Okay. When you uh, use maybe, 
then you just gonna have the uh 50 50 opportunity uh like a 50 50 chance that it's gonna be happening okay use the present tense use the present tense as if it's happening right now okay okay very good good luck with that okay Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Next, let's hear from JJ. Yes, me. JJ, now, did you finish your school yet? Yes, I have done. Not yet? Yes. Did you finish? I. <laughs> Can you hear? My voice is off. Your uh, your voice is breaking off. Okay, let's. I'm gonna ask you again. Did you finish your school yet? Yes. Okay. I've All right. Lost. Let's just pretend that you maybe you continue your uh your higher education. Okay. Now let's see if you finish Jesus second uh second uh degree whatever it is what do you want to be after that um i want to um continue my study okay. uh, in the next level mm -hmm. and i want uh learning more about um my uh my interest means I want to learn um, deeply uh, in English. Um, English? And, yeah. English, English, you mean English? Yeah, English language. Oh, okay. Now, uh, yes, I want to continue. Okay, let me uh, try to... Uh, uh, help you making the sentence okay i want to continue to the you mean a master yeah master degree i want master. to continue my master degree you mean the master degree in english uh in sastra english miss oh okay so something uh, okay I want to continue my master degree in uh, English art. Does it cover it? Oh, okay, hold on. Second. In English. The, uh, you you were like mentioned earlier about your interest. Is that something related to the English art or different? Um, something like that. Okay, so, uh, so I, I just make a, a conclusion that I want to continue my master degree in English art. Does it, uh, does it cover all the one that your plan or the the, the one you were saying earlier? Apakah ini sudah mencakup semua yang tadi uh, yang tadi JJ bilang? Katakan yes, ya. yes oh, Oke, okay. so this is just the short way. Oke, okay? just the short way to uh, make a conclusion of whatever was uh, JJ said earlier. Oke, okay? so she wants to continue her master degree in English art. Oke, okay? so it's pretty simple like that. Oke, okay? very good. Okay, hopefully it's gonna happen soon. Okay, JJ? Thank you, me. That. Thank you. Okay, good. Very good for JJ. Now, let's continue with number three, guys. If you are a teacher, what grade do you want to teach and why? Let's hear from, let's hear it from somebody. Cool. Okay, let's hear from Miss Lily. If if you are a teacher, what grade do you want to teach? Why? Jika kamu 
adalah seorang guru uh, ting- kelas. kelas berapa kamu ingin mengajar di kelas berapa hmm. mengapa Very good. and what's in your opinion I want to teach mm-hmm. um, high school high school okay high school senior junior there are different level of high school uh, mm-hmm. Sen- senior, senior 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 high school school why because mm-hmm. I want to um, why you pick high school, senior high school instead of junior high school or elementary or even kindergarten? Why you pick that? What make you pick want that? to uh Alasannya apa uh, Miss Lily memilih uh, SMA dibanding SMP ataupun SD atau TK? You think it's gonna be easier teaching senior, or you have any other reason? Because to teach them. Mm-hmm. It, uh... Uh, in Indonesia, then let's do it. Easier than junior high school. Okay, because you think it's uh, I want to teach uh senior high school because it's easier. Easier than. It's easier to teach them. Yes. Then, other grades. I- Okay, other grades, the uh, class-class yang lainnya. Okay, now grades in a uh, now grade. Uh, here in this context is meaning uh class ya class. Jadi first grade, second grade. Okay, eleven grade and like that. Okay, now uh in other context of sentence, it might means uh uh it might mean uh grade is a uh, nilai ujian ya. That's that also called great and then also in another context of sentence it might uh, mean that um, great itu uh, kualitas uh, the quality of the uh, product like that okay fruits or could be uh, uh, any clothing great okay those those depends on the uh, sentence okay so that's what uh, the reason that uh, Miss Lily think. Okay, she'll pick, she'll pick senior high school. Teach, she, she will prefer to be a senior high school teacher. Okay, because she thinks it's easier to teach them. Okay, because they're older now. Okay, so they are expected to be more responsible and all those stuff okay all right thank you very much for your opinion miss lily you're welcome miss okay next let's hear from miss Fu. yes miss all right let's hear from you what's your opinion on this okay. uh, i read it yeah sure if you are if you are a teacher what what grades do you want to teach why okay before you uh, continue this here no s huh what grade okay what grade ah uh, okay pay attention to that okay very what good grade do you want to teach mm-hmm. i want to teach a uh, Kin- kindergarten. Okay. Why? Because the boys and girls are very good. Okay. What do you mean very good? Cute. 
Oh, cute, because they're, <laughs> okay, cute. Okay, because uh, they. they are cute. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so we use the pronoun of the kindergarten students we use the pronoun of they, okay? Yes. Okay, so that interests you, okay? That make you want to pick kindergarten instead of other grades, <laughs> okay? But you know, on top of that, you have to teach them, right? Not just looking at their cute faces and then, <laughs> <laughs> okay? But that's that's reasonable too, okay? It's gonna make mm. you stay young looking at them, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else you think? Thank you, Miss. That's it. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. So that's the reason from our two classmates here. Okay. First, Miss Lily just want to pick senior high school. It's easier to teach them. Okay. Meanwhile, Miss Fu prefer to teach kindergarten because they are cute. Okay, yes, they are cute. Okay, and then senior high school are not cute anymore. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. Now, okay, that's what we hear the opinion of our friends. Now, continue with the grammar review. Okay, guys, so this uh, chapter we are still continue with the uh, pronouns. Okay, pronouns itu kata ganti benda ya. Di chapter sebelumnya kita juga sudah mengenal uh, sudah belajar bersama tentang pronouns ya. So previous chapter we also already learn about the pronouns you like um the let me see okay about the the the, the basic pronouns like uh, re, uh okay hold on oh uh, let me see okay let me share this really quick with you guys. And then you guys did pretty good on the exercise about that pronoun, okay? Let me pull this. Okay, guys, check this out. Okay, that was the material that you guys learned, okay? So personal pronouns, okay? Pronouns, that's chapter four, okay? So you guys already understand personal pronouns, kata ganti orang. And then, and then we have depend. Nah, the kata ganti orang itu ter, uh, di chapter sebelumnya kita me, bela, me, mempelajari tentang. Hold on, okay. Okay, khusus uh, di uh, previous chapter we learn about personal pronouns depends on the function. Okay, now depends on the subjective case or the possessive or the objective case. Jadi uh, chapter sebelumnya kita sudah belajar tentang uh, tentang kata ganti orang ya. Now. Chapter 5 ini kita lanjutkan dengan pronouns juga. Nah, and then here on the chapter 5 we are continuing with the grammar also. Beside the personal pronouns in English we have like nine pronouns, okay? Jadi di dalam bahasa Inggris itu ada 9 macam kata ganti kata ganti benda ya. Uh, Selain kata ganti orang, ya yeah, personal pronouns, there are nine more, uh, uh, eight more, okay. But in this chapter five, we are learning relative pronouns, possessive pronouns, interrogative pronouns, and demonstrative pronouns, okay. Ini kita di chapter ini kita mempelajari empat kata ganti kerja, okay. Now. Let me give you a little bit explanation. I believe you guys already read it, okay? And then I have a little bit uh, summarized also. I'm going to send that to the uh, to Mr. Tony and then he will send to you guys, okay? Now, relative pronouns here. Check this out, okay? Relative pronouns ini, okay, untuk kata-katanya uh, itu yang biasa digunakan adalah kata hukum, that, which, that. Okay? Ini untuk menggantikan 
kata ganti orang atau benda. Oke, okay, relative pronoun. Oke, okay. and then we have the I have all this explanation on our PDF. Okay, we have possessive pronouns. Okay, possessive pronouns here we use the word whose. W H O S E. Nah, kan untuk possessive pronouns itu kata ganti kepemilikan. Oke, okay. yang kata ganti kepemilikan itu dalam bahasa Inggris menggunakan kata whose. Oke. Okay. Nah, the we have the example here. This is the young girl whose father is a famous movie director. Oke. Okay. Ini adalah uh, in dia adalah uh, gadis muda yang papanya adalah seorang direktur di, direktur uh, film yang terkenal. Oke okay, deh. Who's? Oke, okay, explaining the father. Oke. Okay. Now we have the third one. We have interrogative pronouns. Oke. Okay. Pronouns interrogative itu untuk kata tanya ya. Untuk pengganti kata tanya yang di, uh, di sini kata katanya ada who, whom, who's, which, and what. Oke, okay. what grade is she going to teach? Whom did you call? Oke, okay. which book is on the bestseller list? Oke, okay. that's pretty easy for you guys. Oke, okay. demonstrative pronouns because uh, interrogative we learned that um, previous chapter also. Demonstrative pronouns. Oke. Okay. Demonstrative pronouns itu untuk menu, untuk menunjukkan letak sesuatu. Ada we have this, that, these, and those. Oke, okay? four words here. Oke, okay? untuk menunjukkan seberapa jauh lokasi tempat atau lokasi seseorang atau suatu benda dari pembicaranya yang ber, yang yang berbicara itu ya. Oke, okay? so. These are all that, okay. Now let me try to share this. Okay, check it out. Okay, there you go. Okay, you guys will have get this file, okay. So review a little bit. Okay, this is just a little bit more detailed explanation compared to the book, okay. Now you can see all this, the pronoun here, all the words that use on each kind of pronouns. Okay. Also, we have the explanation here. Okay. Look. Relative pronouns, we use this word that, which, who, whom, whose. Okay. And then we have possessive pronouns here mine, yours, his, hers, ours. Okay. And then whose. Okay. Interrogative. Okay. Okay, we have interrogative there. We use who, whom, whose, what, and which. Okay, when you're gonna use those word? Okay, it's gonna be here. Okay, I cross this because this uh, uh one of the example uh doesn't make sense. Okay, and then we have the demonstrative pronouns. Okay. Right there is just to show how far something, okay? If it's here for singular thing, you're gonna use this, and then it's far, you're gonna use that. Those for far away, plural, and this for nearby, plural, okay? Also after that, we have example of the words, uh, okay, the sentence there, and then we have exercise also, guys, okay? And then I hope you can try, okay? Try to, A challenge yourself, okay? Try to challenge yourself. See how much you understand the uh, file that I share with you, and also on the on our textbook, okay? And then uh, we'll continue this, okay? And then we we'll, next time when we meet, we're gonna continue with the uh, exercise, okay? Hopefully, uh, you guys can. Uh, self learn okay because this is just really similar just because of the terms you know so don't confuse with the terms of what kind of 
demonstrate it, pronounce it, anything like that. Just understand that uh, when you're going to use it, that's the most important in English, okay? So you guys did pretty good, pretty good on the uh, personal pronouns, okay? For, uh, on the previous chapter. So I believe this uh, chapter should be easy also for you guys. We only have uh, two exercises so far, okay? So hopefully you guys can do it before uh, our uh, following class, okay, guys? Okay, now it's uh, time is showing 8.01, okay, uh, to end the class, okay, guys? Okay, uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Next week is Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas, 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 Merry